psychological person because you are able to know what is the reality. What is you you conscious? Is you in a state that you know what's going on, what happened, and also you you connected with your reality. You connected whatever is happening to you at that moment. What is happening right now? Cognitive diffusion means learning to step back or detach from helpful thoughts and worries or memories. That what the, 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 what does diffusion do? It helps you to separate you what is real and not real. Instead of, instead of you getting caught caught up in thoughts or pushed around by, by things that they're making you struggle, that the things that make you feel worry, you learn how to how to let them go, how to let them come and go because some, that's something important. It could be that those are thoughts that maybe they're not true, but what happened? They they keep coming. So act help you have to manage when they come and how to you know let them go. And if they come, you be being able to. To manage. So you accept them coming yeah. and go, basically. You yeah. Basically, you accept them coming. Exactly. And you let go yeah. instead of trying to not let them come. And a good analogy uh, is uh, thinking about your thoughts as a river in the fall, with all these leaves just kind of floating down the river. You know, the, those are your thoughts just kind of floating down the river. Basically, basically, what you do, you learn how to step back and watch your thinking. It helps you to for you watch your thinking. You step back and you watch what is what are your thoughts, what are you thinking. So you can respond effectively. Instead of getting tangled up or losing inside by thinking all over and all over again. The third, part, the third one is acceptance, which means opening opening up and making room for painful feelings. You have to accept you have a situation like somebody died after you have the situation that you, the reality, somebody died. You know, the the situation that accept that. I mean, you will know. You know that it's a fact. That it's something for real or not. Something real. And when it comes to the fusion, you will you will learn that when it comes, you know that that happened. And acceptance that you know that that's a fact. A fact that it happened. Something that is real. Um, like I said, acceptance means opening, opening up and making room for, for painful feelings and sensations. What do you learn? You learn how to drop the struggle with them. How to, how to, 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 how to drop the struggle with them. Give them, give, uh, which means giving the, the thoughts some breathing space. And let them, let them be there without getting stuck. You accept it, but it doesn't mean that you get stuck and you're gonna get all depressed. You're gonna get all sad. Um, what else? Um, the more the more you can open up, is very important, and it gives you the room to move. You can be able to move on. The easier it is for your feelings to come and go without draining or making you holding back. When you accept it, when you have acceptance. You can like as you can go with the diffusion, let them go back and forth, back and forth, and accept the reality. Next step, the observing self is the part of you of you that is responsible of awareness and attention. We don't have a word for it in common everyday language. We normally just talk about the mind. But there are two parts of the mind. The thinking self, for example, the part that is always thinking. The part that is responsible for all your thoughts, beliefs, memories, judgment, fantasies. And the other part is the observing, observing self. The part of your mind that is able to be aware of whatever you are thinking or feeling or doing at any moment. Without it, you couldn't develop those mindful skills. And the more you practice those mindful skills, the more you become aware of this part of your mind and able to access access it when you need it. 